The police investigation continues under the gunman who opened fire at the Kalamazoo Transit Center Saturday, injuring three. The shooter was killed by police. New at 6, the union representing bus drivers at the station is calling for armed security now at that center. News 8's Joe LaFerci reports. The people on the bus weren't the only ones in danger Saturday. Bullets taking out two windows here in the transit center. The bullets landing in this wall and in this door. And I see this guy pull out a gun and he started shooting. Kalamazoo Transit bus rider Crystal Coy says the next few minutes seem like the longest of her life. I seen the flashes from the gun and I dropped to the floor of the bus. I was praying he didn't get on our bus and start shooting. 54-year-old Anthony Oliver shot three people on the bus idling next to hers. Their injuries all non-life-threatening. Oliver was eventually shot by arriving Kalamazoo DPS officers. Investigators are still trying to figure out a motive, but today the union representing drivers with Kalamazoo Metro Transit are calling for armed security at the center. Security people were here that were not armed, and they were actually chased by the gunman. The union says cost is not an issue. Perez says it's a matter of human resources. The Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department, which had been providing security under contract at the center, pulled out this fall due to staffing shortages. Perez says Kalamazoo Public Safety is facing the same challenges. We've asked the agency to look at deputizing and hiring its own transit police. And there's a lot of complications involved in that. But this is a major transit center. A lot of people coming in and out of here. Uh, a lot of opportunity for violence and that type of thing happen. We want to minimize it. Meantime, passengers loaded back onto buses today, many with Saturday's tragedy still on their minds. I'm still processing what I've seen, honestly. More union leaders expected in Kalamazoo this week to continue to press their case. In Kalamazoo, Joe Lafergie, News 8.